hey, we're going to walk through the USB Hub 3C from Acroname and how we can use it as a power delivery analyzer. In this case, we're going to use it to look at what a device connected here as a sync looks like and how we can uh, analyze the, the PD transactions across it and then also look at how uh, it performs if we um, modify our VBUS voltage to see if it uh, follows the USB PD standards. So we'll open up STEM tool here and we'll connect to our USB Hub 3C. And when this first opens here, you can see we've got a lot of information about what's going on each of the ports. We're going to just go and connect to look at port five. That's the only thing we're interested in right now. Uh, we've got PD logging already running here and we have the uh, PD entitlement here down here that allows us to use this, this feature. So on port five here, we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna issue a hard reset. This would be the same thing as we just disconnected the port. So it's in a hard reset. You see the VBUS voltage drops and we start bringing it back up. If we click on the voltage plots, we can bring up the plot detail window. And you can see those transactions happening here. If I click on any one of them, it jumps to our PE log. And you see in this case, this is the source capabilities request. And we can zoom in on this to see where how the timing actually worked out. And then as we go through, you can see the bus VBUS came up to five volts after that hard reset. And then there was a source capabilities transactions. And then eventually the device requested a specific PDO right here. And in this case, it requested the nine volt three amp PDO. The power supply ramped up to that and gave the power supply ready command. And then the device started to boot. And you can see here, we hit a, a max boot current here. Um, let's go and zoom in on our current axis. And we're maybe just under an amp, you know, so this is hitting just about nine watts peak. Super useful to be able to look at the current and voltage over time and with each of the transactions overlaid. And as you can see, if I zoom out in the time axis here, I can just select that axis and zoom out. Uh, we can see these transactions down here in the little overview window. So we can jump to transactions as more and more transactions happen. Another very useful thing is we can see how this device performs if we start acting like a bad power supply. So instead of nine volts, let's start tweaking this down. Let's say uh, the device is only getting eight volts. Oh, it's still happy it hasn't fallen off the bus yet. And we can go and scroll this all the way over so we can start over here. Grab our scroll bar. So this goes back to a live view now. You can see where our voltage dropped. And let's go to seven volts and see if it uh, gets unhappy. Oh, there we go. And so it just did a bus reset, asked for source capabilities again and start it over. So that's sort of the expected behavior for a device when the voltage being supplied is under what it's expecting. So we fell outside of the allowed window, the device gave a hard reset and we see a hard a source capabilities request again and power supply ready again. So it's a very useful tool for that sort of validation. Uh, we can also do the same thing in the opposite direction. So let's go to 10 volts. Well, let's go ahead and restart this here. All right, so we go here and let's go to 10 volts. Now you need to be careful what devices you do this with. Some of them will let the magic smoke out. 10 volts is still happy. 11 volts seems to be still happy. 12 volts, wow. Still going. I think that's about as high as I'm willing to go before we uh, break our, our beautiful home pod here. But as you can see, the device is still operating normally. We can zoom in on our current and what we would expect to see is our current has probably dropped. We go back down to nine volts here. Oh. Yeah, you can see the effective input power is about the same because we've reduced our input power. So the, super, the USB Hub 3C is a very powerful analyzer, um, primarily because it acts as a partner on the bus. It's not just um, sniffing the bus. So we can actually modify all the different communications as it's going across. Uh, another example of that where we could actually modify the source rules that are being presented if we wanted to. That's enough for now, and we'll uh, talk more about uh, other exciting, powerful things we can do with the USB Hub 3C.